Section 4's video is looking at the learning activities. So what you need to do is have your academic calendar ready for this trimester and also have your timetable for all the offerings that you have. This will help you when you're looking at public holidays that might take effect into any of your classes that you have and your academic calendar telling you when the student break is as we go along. Okay, as I've said before, this is looking at rolling over the information from last offering. So on this one you will see the wrong dates on here because we're still sitting these ones at 2020. So once it rolls over into what you need for the next trimester, you will have the dates for the trimester 2 2021 flowing through. So the first thing I need you to do because an advice from the Dean's office has asked us to change a few things in here to make it simple for everyone including yourselves as conveners. So what I'd like you to do is come up to the top here on the display settings and from the drop down box that you have there change it to matrix of activities by week. Hit the save layer for student view over the side here and you will see it flowing through as we've got here. Now what you need to do is look at what the Dean has approved of your course configuration. So if you have a standard 12 week lecture and 12 weeks of workshops, this is where you need to incorporate all the information into here in a simplified manner. So we want a heading matching with whatever your course configuration has. Now this particular one, when it's rolled over, you can see we have three different headings. We've got lecture, workshop and other activity. Let's scroll down now in the other activity to see that you can see there's information there to do with the computing lab. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that information that's in there. So let's hit delete on those. Just go through each line because these won't be relevant. Now you'll be using your learning at Griffith site for any additional information that you're not putting in here. So now you can see by deleting the information that was in that extra column, you now have the two columns. But you have to go through and delete anything in that column for the column to remove if you don't need it. Okay, so this one, as I said, is displaying just as a normal 12-week offering for the course. Okay, anything different than what you've got here, you may need to touch base with your academic support officer to get some further advice. So when we're looking at this one and we've got the details here, keeping it as simple as we can, if we can keep it just with the week and the information on what the topic might be for that week, and over here with your workshops. Now the first thing I suggest you do is slot in where you would have your mid-semester break before you start doing anything. Now because this one is flown over looking at what we've got from 2020, I'm just going to give you an example. So in, in trimester 2 for 2021, your classes after week 3 will have a mid-semester break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add into here a row to show the mid-semester break. So I'm going to put the 3rd of August, just say for example. So I'm going to pick this to add in. I'm looking at the lecture. Now even though there's no lecture, I'll show you as we go through. Lecture in there. Okay, we're going to say mid-trimester break. Okay, and we're going to write here no classes this week to trimester break. Okay, let's put the 3rd of August. Okay, we're going to put 2020 down here. Might help if I put it in the right place for the week commencing. Okay, 3rd of August 2020. Okay, don't put anything else. Hit the save button and let's see where it's landed in here. Okay, now for this one, because we already had information there on the 3rd of August, and you can see that there and that there, what you're going to need to do then is just change it so week 4 will flow afterwards. And all you need to do is hit your edit button, change that down. We're just going to move it down a week. Hit save. And you will see now mid-semester break is there and week four is shifted down. So each time you're going to have to just move your details down. 
So the same over here when you do this one, move it down as you go along. So start then at the top with your academic calendar, working out what your public holidays are that might affect things and just go line by line across to work out what you need changed. So this will take a little bit of time as you're going through. Okay, so if you can look at it like that, make sure that you set it at your two columns relevant to your course config that's been approved by the Dean. Get yourself all the way down the bottom. And the last thing on this page that you need to do is have a look in the box down here under other teaching and learning activities. Again, this is flowed over from the last trimester. So read through it carefully. Anything that needs to be changed, go in and make the changes um, as we've done before. So just hit your edit button, scroll through, make your changes and then hit save. Okay, that's your learning activities completed for this video.